Peter with Hammer in Hand up at the uh, Pumpkin Ridge Passive House where we've finished our WRB and our window over insulation. Um, so starting back at the air barrier of OSB and uh, sealed seams, we've nailed a nine and a half five joist on edge, two foot on center, and then sheeted those with Augapon, which is a uh, weather resistant barrier so we won't need tar paper or Tyvek or any other kind of paper. Um, this is a really cool product that goes up uh, quickly with staples. It's tongue and groove on, yeah. It's a tongue and groove joint, um, top, bottom, and all three sides. So you don't actually have to break it on a stud. Uh, as you can see here, we have a stud here and a stud here and our vertical joint is just in space and the tongue groove makes it rigid enough to allow that. So the structure of our house is all back behind this. It's our 2x6 wall and our OSB uh, cladding. This is all really just an exoskeleton created for insulation value. Um, as we come out to this plane, we need a, a vapor, per, uh, vapor permeable coating that will allow the house to dry to the outside but still be rigid enough to hold in our uh, 9.5 inches of uh, blown in cellulose. Some people have used uh, Dens glass in the past, which is also a vapor permeable sheet good. Um, it is, however, not a WRB, so you'd have to then paper it. The Agapon takes care of both in one shot, which is really nice for uh, labor savings and efficiencies. So here at the window, we've over insulated. When we ordered our windows, we had them hold the cladding back uh, an inch and a half to allow us to get this one inch XPS right up against the wood frame. So we have a really good thermal uh, break between the exterior, the wood frame, which then carries into the interior. Uh, we've done three sides here. At the bottom, we've left it off the sill just for uh, drainage. Worst case scenario, if any moisture gets back there, we still want it to be able to roll out. For finish, we, we'll have custom belt bent uh, metal sill pans, which will engage a uh, groove in the bottom of the window here, come up the sides of the XPS here, and then kick out over the rain screen. So in the future, we'll take a good look at uh, our rain screen system, which will be really interesting. We have four different depths on this house, ranging from three quarter up to uh, six inches for um, aesthetics mostly to, to give the house some texture. We'll look at the way the, the uh, sill pan ties into the rain screen, giving us our drainage planes, and then uh, how the final siding goes on to finish it up.